Every spring you can usually find a variety of jumbo plastic Easter eggs at the, either at Dollar Tree or Walmart. You just want to grab three of them in three different sizes, small, medium, large, and then separate them and make sure before you start painting, just make sure that they fit together nicely that you can pop them together. Then give them a quick coat of white spray primer or just plain white chalk paint as a base. Then once that base coat is dried, grab some E6000 glue and you're gonna glue all of your egg halves together. So just a thin line of glue on that edge and then pop the two egg halves together and then wipe away any excess glue that might have seeped out. And then you're gonna have to add a few coats of your colored chalk paint. So you can see here I did a very light coat of spray primer. If you had done like a heavier coat of white chalk paint, maybe you would have gotten better coverage than I got, but either way, these are the pastel colors that I chose. So I used folk art matte paint in the color Mossy Meadow, as well as matte paint in the color Villa Green, and then chalk paint in the color Barely Pink. I've been kind of using the folk art chalk paint, it's home decor chalk paint, and the folk art matte acrylic craft paint kind of interchangeably lately, especially because I don't know if you've heard, it's been a bizarre winter here in Minnesota. And so this weekend is like 65 degrees. So I've been able to go outside and use spray primer. Had I been doing these during a snowstorm, I would have done a coat of plain white chalk paint. But either way, I'm really enjoying whether it's the chalk paint or the matte paint. I think they both work incredibly well. And then you'll just have to rotate the eggs at varying degrees and then like let it dry and then flip it over and paint the other side and let it dry. But then I finally had my eggs all painted in my three different colors, green, blue, and pink. And then it's time to add speckles. So I just did this a couple weeks ago on some speckled Easter egg candles. And it's this, this is the same technique. I just have this grubby old toothbrush this is great to save um, because we use electric toothbrushes in my house. So whenever we get the free toothbrushes from the dentist, I'm like, yes, I can use that for cleaning or crafting. Uh, but just dab it in some brown paint, just any sort of dark brown paint, and then start flicking the speckles of paint at all angles. And then once that's dry, it's time to assemble the actual topiary. So you'll see here that the smallest egg I set underneath a little book there just to elevate it so that all the eggs were kind of centered one on top of each other. And then I used my go-to combination of both E6000 glue, a dab there in the center, and then I did an outline around that with some hot glue. For those of you who've been around this channel for any amount of time, you've heard this a million times before, the hot glue gives you the instant hold for right away. The E6000 glue gives you the long-term permanent hold so that your project isn't falling apart. And then I just grabbed some hot glue and some Spanish moss and I just added a little bit between the eggs and the, the two little dividing sections between the three eggs. And then I stepped aside and let this dry overnight so that that E6000 glue could harden up. And then just flipped that topiary over and added a little bit more moss on the back as well. And then I had some baby boxwood faux greenery left over from a previous project. I always keep like scraps of faux greenery around for these smaller projects when you don't need a full stem. But I just kind of trimmed those down and stuck those into the moss as well at varying angles and cut them to varying sizes. And so that was pretty easy. Just add as much or as little moss and faux boxwood as you like. Dollar Tree usually has a variety of these metal pails kind of in the floral section, or you could use an Easter basket, like an Easter bucket, whatever. I just took a little metal pail, hot glued a square of craft foam into the bucket, and then once again, used my combination of E6000 glue and hot glue to secure the largest Easter egg to the top of the styrofoam. And then it's hard, it's hard for me to show you because my camera only comes from one angle, from the top down. 
but then I just kind of stuffed some extra Spanish moss and some faux greenery into the top of that bucket there to kind of cover the the styrofoam but that's it and then here's my finished easter egg topiary i think it'd be fun to make a pair of these to bookend like a living room mantle or something but either way a fun little craft for easter i do hope you enjoyed watching this craft come together until next time happy making <laughs>